Welcome back to Nine Weeks Out. We are currently in the middle of a fucking hurricane. And I'm by myself. At least I look good, bro. Now, dead ass, look. Look outside. Look. Our whole, her, our whole back fence is all cooked. But good thing we're leasing, because <laughs> I don't give two shits. But look. Oh, shoot. I dropped the thing. All right, look real quick. Hold on. Yeah, this shit's gone, brother. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I want to open this door and show y'all like how it really feels to chew five gum. I don't even know what the f that means. What does that even mean? Um, nah, but dead ass. Oh, let me put this back on. Oh, bitch, get on a bit. It should stay on. But yeah, bro, um, I woke up. Why is this on? All right, now it's on. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm, I'll, I'm home alone. No texts are going through. No calls are going through. Um, <laughs> my mom and dad <laughs> are gonna be so mad. But like, I was like, hey bro, I'm from Florida. Um, this, this hurricane ain't shit. Yeah, your bro has no water <laughs> or, or food. I just had Rice Krispies treats. But welcome to nine weeks out, man. This is how we get ready for nationals. Um, I'm currently melting uh, shaker cups of ice for water. <laughs> yeah, um, and I just woke up. I was supposed to wake up at fucking 11, but you guys know I was supposed to have a meeting. I have a meeting every Monday at 12. Uh, so, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> this is literally fucking hurricane. Dude, guys, I'm pissed. I'm fucking mad, bro. Because, nigga, like, bro, I left, I left, I left. Oh my God, W print. Oh, hold on, let me go like this, W print. Okay, uh, dude, I fucking left Florida, like, when it was around a hurricane, right? Hurricane Ian or whatever the fuck that bitch ass nigga's name ass was. And you fucked up my car. Jaren, if you have a picture, Show it, bro. So, um, that ass look at this. <clears throat> I'll show y'all. My picture of my car is right there. Um, yeah. So I had to move it. Uh, it was like out in the, not out of the street, but like farther into the driveway, like closer to the street. And that's how I lost my car. So, try not to lose this one. I mean, uh, <laughs> hey, I know. Hey, I know I got a new job and shit, but that don't mean I got no motion. But literally, bro, I can only talk in here too because it's too dark over there. Uh, my laptop's dead. Woke up, my phone was at fucking 4%. I'm just literally so unprepared, and I've been through, like, two two serious hurricanes. The first one, I was like a baby, so whatever. But yeah, I deadass can't even, like, does this even turn on? Yeah, see, yeah, no power. My dumbass just tried to turn on the fucking oven. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know what else to do other than talk to a damn camera. So, GG's in the chat. I don't even know what it looks like over here. I don't know what it looks like over here. What does it look like? Are we good? Are we good? I think we should be good. So, yeah, there's that W gap session. Uh, you still can't see if I look like Joel. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I need one outside to fuck it. Look at this shit. You think they're gonna deliver my Amazon package? I don't think anybody's coming. Oh! G fucking G's in the chat, man. I have no music downloaded on my phone, no podcast. It doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, I can't even charge it because I was gonna charge my phone on the laptop, but no fucking cheat. So I don't know what to do with my life right now. I would try to go back to bed, but I literally just woke up. So I went to bed at like one, woke up at nine. Uh, I have all the energy in the world. So it's just, it's just me and my thoughts. Um, I think I'm gonna take this time to brainstorm some shit for Menace. Uh, my feature content. You know what, let's be, let's be a grown fucking man about this shit. Let's just pace. Let's just pace around and figure this shit out, man. I can't even do cardio, man. Oh, man. No power. I was going to do cardio. Honestly, though, at least this is on. This shit is on. Oh, shit. I think this is on. Yeah, it's on. So I could wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to figure out what to do. This is a five-minute clip. So if, if this is the fact that last five minute clip I've ever recorded my entire life, uh, I want to say uh, I love my family, I love all my supporters, bro. I be, bro, like <laughs> I be, I fuck with y'all, bro. This is the last video I ever recorded, bro. This hurricane Benadryl or whatever the fuck. I forgot the name of the hurricane. Go oh, fuck us. Oh, good, good, good shit though. I don't know what to do in my life. Let's just go grab a notebook and start writing down our thoughts. It could either put me in jail or make me rich. So. <laughs> yeah. Code Jaren on Gymshark. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but uh, look, I, I, yeah, I'm literally the only one home. Here's Joel. Bye-bye.
I don't know why these doors open. Oh yeah, we're cooked, buddy. We're cooked. It's all right though. It's all right though. You know, Jim Mars with his girlfriend. <laughs> Joel's with his girlfriend, <laughs> and I'm home alone by myself during a, during a severe uh, storm. Yep. Uh, gotta love life, guys. Hey, at least I have y'all. At least I have y'all. All right, yeah, let's just fucking, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna just go fucking, I don't know. I can't even, I can't even go goon. I can't even go goon, I can't have a goon sesh. There's no internet. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking? So I'm gonna go lie, I probably took like three naps and it's currently, I wanna say like 3, 3 p.m. or some shit. Last time we talked, it was like nine. I'm mean, just trying to sleep through it. And finally the hurricane stopped, so. Yeah, it's 250 right now. Um, still, the, the water's running. I was able to take a shower, it got hot. I just took Adrian and Joel. They also still have no power, but they're about to go to Costco to find out if they can like get like a stove or some gas stove like that. Which I'm probably gonna go do the same thing. So we're gonna go look what the outskirts of Houston look like. Um, I just put on some boot fit. I'm gonna go figure it out, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Moved away from Florida for this shit. Just to, just to get it again. So, so where I know where, wherever I go, hurricanes want to follow. You feel me? Bullshit. If Adrian had that idea, Adrian Joel had that idea. Um, there's probably a thousand other people that had the same idea. So I really don't think I'm gonna find anything at Sam's Club or Walmart or whatever. But I'm so hungry. I haven't ate yet. Um, I have had one bottle of water. Uh, in a Rice Krispie Treat. So I'm really surviving. I'm really on survival mode. And I was laughing earlier, but I ain't laughing now. And I'm still home alone. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just drove around probably for 10 minutes. Uh, I went all the way down that way. I'm not gonna say where I live. All the way down that way. All the way down that way. All the gas stations are closed. I called Adrian Joel. They, the Walmart, there's a big ass line out the, out the fucking store there's also a long ass car lines anyways so you couldn't find parking sam's club is closed costco is closed and i have no gas and my phone is at seven percent we're cooked <laughs> we are fucking cooked all right well yo ggs in the chat hey eh? whoever can guess my favorite color can have my youtube channel have everything they get all my all my codes you get a code for gym everybody like so it's my last video on my channel Oh, uh, I still haven't ate yet. So, I guess people up in the city still have um, power, but you can't get to them because everything is flooded still. And for the powerlifters that actually care, I was on week three, squats, bench, and deadlifts. I was supposed to do some crazy shit, and I haven't had any food, so. Shouts out, Hurricane, whatever the fuck. I don't even know what they name this bitch. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having PTSD of the hurricane in Florida. Last time I went through a hurricane, It lasted about a week, week and a half of straight staring at a ceiling. That's probably the worst time of my life. 
don't even have I don't even have I don't even have books to read right now. What the fuck is life right now? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I am not gonna take shit for granted. I don't do it anyways, but there's just another reason to not shake shit for granted. Cause essentially, now I'm just talking to myself. I should have a, I should have a podcast right now. I should set up a podcast. What would we call it? I don't know. But I don't even know if any of this will make it into YouTube video. This is the lame way to start off a YouTube video. I'm about to get butt naked because it's starting to get hot in the house. So that will be going on the other YouTube channel. Hope, uh, hope everyone that has ener uh, energy right now or power. Uh, I hope all y'all. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> we just got an update from the National Hurricane Center. I do want to bring it to your attention. As of moments ago, the NHC confirming that the Eye of Barrel has made a landfall on the island of Kirikou at 11.10 a.m. this morning. And Hurricane Hunters Air Force Reconnaissance, to be exact, they have found mm -hmm. Barrel to be even stronger mm -hmm. than what was issued at the top of the hour. The advisor from the National Hurricane Center, you see it for yourself, winds 150 miles an hour. That pressure incredibly low, 950 millibars. This is a high-end Cat 4. This is almost a Category 5 hurricane, a feat that would not expect to see on the first day. I like how the fuck you said that rich, but you still scamming niggas. I made a hundred K, made comedy pillows, a hundred off money slippers. Yeah. Fuck all shit that boot up, nigga, and get the bargain with you. I don't talk to you, don't talk to me, bitch, I don't talk to niggas. I'm like, God, the niggas ain't die for me, they get the stalking niggas. My little love, little bitch, do fraud, so ain't got time to talk to niggas. We but checks for fun, we don't need that shit, I spend it the whole nigga. I made 200k in 11 days off one of my bulks, the nigga. Look at this pockets, them hoes smaller than me, and you need to go bowling, nigga. I give a fuck about who's stronger, nigga. This glock like hold the niggas. I don't think matter who money long, bitch. I had million dollar dreams, I knew I was gonna be rich. I don't really be on the scene, cause they too on my dick. I rock a Prada, Dita, DJ, Ruddy, Two and Rick. How the fuck you ready for what, bitch? You ain't got no shit. How the fuck you ready for what, your city? Know you a bitch. Right that crazy. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Your whole city know you a bitch, boy. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, my whole city know my shit, boy. Ain't that crazy? I'll do regular Mercedes. I'm finna go 680. My nigga sippin' that red. Look at this cup, it's crazy. My nigga sippin' that red. Look at this cup, it's crazy. They like, how the fuck you so that rich, but you still scamming niggas? I made a hundred care, made comedy pillows, a hundred off money slippers. Fuck all shit that boot up, nigga, and get the bargain with. I don't talk to you, don't talk to me, bitch, I don't talk to niggas. As you can see, there's something different. We finally have power! I was literally at the gym recording all these shits and all the little clips you just saw. And bro, Jim Mar or Jim Mar pfft, Joel gave me the text. He said, yo, the crib, the crib is ready. I said, nigga, I'm on my motherfucking way, bro. So we gotta look at all this. Look at all this fucked up shit. Jesus Christ. I gotta fix this. We're gonna clean this up later. I just want to feel AC. I have so much. Got, I have so much to catch up on because the last clip you saw me, nigga. I, I just. I yeah. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Get in. Oh my god, it feels like AC. First Oh my god. Survey set. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea what I've been going through, bro. If you're in Houston, you know what I've been going through. But Jesus Christ. I want to lay down so bad right now. Actually, I have to low-key wash all of this because, bruh, I, I, we literally was sweating. There was Tuesday night, I was sweating. Yo, hold on, hold on, we're about to sit down. Let me talk to you. I'm gonna give you really, really quick, quick updates on what happened since like the last clip. Um, let me sit down real quick. I gotta go get all my shit that's inside. Oh my God, it's so nice to see my PC on. Oh my God, I just wanna play video games. All right, quickly. Boom, I think the last clip you guys saw me, I was eating in the, in the, uh, in the couch or whatever. Um, I went to leave. I went to leave to go get gas because Joel said there was a gas station that was open. And I was like, all right, bet. By the way, this is like 
the day after the hurricane, right? So I was like, all right, bet. I only had 10 miles in my gas tank. So I fucked up. I fucked up. I went all the way there. Um, the line went long as shit. So I'm sitting in the line. Um, I'm just looking at my, my miles go from six, five. Four, three. So I said, you know what, bro? I think the best solution for me what to do is um, to park at a gas station. You know what I'm saying? Because if I were to lose, at, end up running out of gas, I'm at a gas station. So all I got to do is just, I have one mile left in my car and I parked at a gas station. Um, Yeah. And then what, <laughs> what happened was, uh, Joel and Adrian came and picked me up. Uh, we went to their apartment. Um, we were there outside all day. Um, it was not even that hot because like the art game made like the weather cool. So we were all outside playing card games with Kobe um, and his girl, and we were just outside, old fashioned. Phone was dead. Everything was dead. It was like we, it was like an apocalypse. It was like we were set back to the fucking nineties or eight. 90s to the 40s i don't fucking know what i don't know what niggas did in the medieval times i don't know what y'all did i don't i wish i could ask motherfuckers because motherfuckers probably sitting here with candlelight i was taking shits in the fucking bathroom with candlelight are you kidding me anyways um what had happened was uh that night it, we found a gas station that was actually open so we drove to it uh we waited in line a little bit i went inside i grabbed one of those little red um little gas canisters Went all the way back to go find my car, filled it up, got like 70 miles, drove all the way home, slept in his bed, butt ass naked, no towel, or no towel, no blanket, no pillows, bruh, like straight up just, just vibes, just literally, if you walked in, you would have thought I was doing some shit on the fucking casting couch, like that's how weird it looked like, anyways, what happened, we woke up, um, I was like, yo, what y'all do for breakfast, um, yeah, I think we ended up going to... What was open? I forgot what I ended up. Oh, we went to Freebirds. It's like a Texas like burrito spot. We went over there, got my burrito. That was my breakfast after I had a Pop-Tart and half a thing of water. Something just, anyways. Um, and then we're like, yo, we need to do something. We need to figure this out. Friends have, our friends have energy, power. So um, they ended up, we ended up hitting three of them up and we ended up going to one of their houses and we were just there last night. Shout out Bella, cause we were at her place and uh, her and Corey place. Um, shout out them because bruh, they saved our life. It was like it was amazing. They had TV, they had Wi Fi. It was kind of like I just like was reborn again. I haven't had, I didn't listen to music for like three days straight, bro. Anyways, ended up getting Chipotle that day. We got Chipotle yesterday, tight shit. And we ended up actually working out. And I actually hit this on squat 530 for two. <laughs> I love it. Yes! Which I didn't think I could fucking do because Jesus motherfucking Christ, bro. I had I only had, I had two chicken burritos. What the fuck I had two chicken burritos for? And a half a little thing of water all day. I still hit that bitch. So if I'm strong off that motherfucker, imagine I actually ate meals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're only week three. So anyways, fast forward to uh, the next day. Woke up in a nice AC. Uh, me and uh, Joel cuddled on the couch. And... um. I think oh, they made us breakfast, chilled there all entire and, and, and the whole day. I went to Iron Sight, the guys, the gym that you guys usually see me work out at. As soon as I got there, the lights power turned off. I said, "Bro, oh my, I can't catch a break, bro." So I had to drive all the way back up to downtown or whatever to go to Twenty First, where you guys just saw. I got the text. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Joel's Joel's here. Everyone's safe. It is summer shirting weekend. I don't even think people flow in. I, people were gonna come visit me. And they didn't end up, they had to cancel their flights and air, air, Airbnbs and everything. So, yeah, this is where we are now. This is week three. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing shit for the rest of the week. Don't ask. I think I'm going to New Jersey for the first time next week, which this video might come out this week. So, technically this week. I will figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be going to New Jersey for the first time. I'm going to be go filming uh, uh, Mags' meet. Pause. I'm going to go film his powerlifting meet. And uh, we're probably going to see like NYC and stuff. So I'll be, be able to see what I've always wanted to see. I want to see Power Build, Iron Revolution, the things that I grew up watching. But anyways, there's that. I need to start doing all my laundry. I need to take a shower. I need to empty the fridge. I need to go shopping early in the morning and fucking figure this shit out. But GG's. Thank you to everybody that was checked up on me because a lot of you did. And uh, that's about it. Now let me go wash my asshole. How the fuck you said that rage, but you're still scamming niggas. I made a hundred camera comic pillows, a hundred off mine slippers. Yeah.